hoku hi ngoa ko kawa e vaanga ta ko atu ka anganda ta ko a I am a dying breed of native tongues. Hopelessly clenching on to the words of my fui's last breath, my grandmother, my very first tongue. She taught me how to speak and breathe from within my heart, along the arch of my back to the curve of my neck, my first tongue. Her words would roll off her tongue like waves on the shore until our shore grew separate ways. My native tongue is an ocean tide that comes and goes. It's got highs and lows like a bad Yelp review. Forgive me sir, I'm new with this native language thing. Can you give me four stars? My native tongue is on the chopping block. Condemned by the silver blade, cut here, served there. He wants the part that says sexy in tribal tattoos, and she wants the part that says sexy in body language, splattered on her back like the blood of my ancestors. On her back, back home, that's me, disgrace, oral stories passed down, nuclear bombs in the South Pacific, this is genocide. My native tongue is dead. You left it in the ocean where you drowned it. You took my body in chains and stripped me from my tongue. So I left it in the ocean and adopted a new one. I had to learn to breathe again with new words. I had to learn to swallow my pride. There were days that I had to speak with my hands and feet because sometimes actions speak louder than words and sometimes you gotta break tradition in order to speak and hear your voice and echo. It's okay to be articulate in your speech and slow in your native tongue. It's okay to know what is being said but not know how to reply. I know how frustrating it is when your native tongue cannot keep up. So don't you ever mistake my silence for ignorance or lack thereof. My wholeness lies in the tanafa that beats and echoes the beat of my heart. It flows through my veins in exchange for my lost tongue. My words are very so new with every gesture in my walk, in my talk, in the sway of my hips to the very kink of my neck as I hold my head up high. I multiply from the fire and your desire to see me as one entity. But I am twofold in my strength, in my ability to carry both tongues, in my heart and in my mouth. So don't you ever mistake my silence for weakness. I found my translation and integration in my reality of dualities. So think before you ask me why I'm not fluent in my native tongue. You wouldn't understand unless you've got two tongues.